When we retire at night, we constructively review our day. Were we resentful, selfish, dishonest, or afraid? Do we owe an apology? Have we kept something to ourselves which should be discussed with another person at once? Were we kind and loving toward all? What could we have done better? Were we thinking of ourselves most of the time? Or were we thinking of what we could do for others, of what we could pack into the stream of life? But we must be careful not to drift into worry, remorse, or morbid reflection, for that would diminish our usefulness to others. After making our review, we ask God's forgiveness and inquire what corrective measures should be taken. Over on page 86, he tells us what to do when we go to bed at night. Here it is now in step 11. He said, when we retire at night, we constructively view our day. Were we resentful, selfish, dishonest, or afraid? I believe that's step four again, isn't it? Yeah. Do we owe an apology? That must be steps eight and nine again. Have we kept something to ourselves which should be discussed with another person at and once? I believe that's step five again. Were we kind and loving toward all? What could, could we have done better? Were we thinking of ourselves most of the time, or were we thinking what we could do for others, or what we could pack into the stream of life? But we must be careful not to drift into worry, remorse, or morbid reflection, for that would diminish our usefulness to others. After making our review, we ask God's forgiveness and inquire what corrective measures must be taken or should There's, be taken. There are steps six and seven again. So what the book is really suggesting is when we go to bed at night, we sit down and kind of take another little inventory. Step ten was during the day when we're disturbed. Step eleven is before we go to bed at night. <laughs> We made up a little sheet here you could use. You can use anything you want to. The main thing is, is do we inventory or not? On one side of the sheet, we took the basic character defects, selfish, self-seeking, dishonest, frightened, inconsideration. We took all the other defects in the 12 and 12, which are the offshoots of those first four, put them on the left-hand side of the sheet and called them the personality characteristics of a self-willed person. We tried to find the opposite and put them on the right-hand side of the sheet. Call that the personality characteristics of a god will person. Now, all we're trying to do is get from the left-hand side of the sheet to the right-hand side. And I can sit down at night with this little sheet and run down through it, making a few check marks. That shows me where I've been that day. Shows me what I need to continue to work on. Never do I find myself on either side of the sheet. The check marks change locations from time to time, but I'm beginning to notice that I'm marking more of them on the right than I am on the left. And slowly over a period of time, we continue to become a different human being. Now, I've learned one thing about my sobriety. I am going to inventory. I've got one or two choices. I can put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off until I'm so sick that I'm almost drunk and then I start trying to dig myself out from under that mess or I can take just a few minutes each day and by doing it a few minutes each day I keep myself in reasonably good condition and I'm in much less chance of drinking. I find that it takes less energy to do it on a daily basis than it does to wait till I'm almost drunk and then start trying to dig myself out from under it. A very definite, valuable suggestion. Here is where the authors very clearly describe the evening review, and they give us a hint. Now remember, we are at step 11, correct? In the book, right? And then it says in the very next paragraph, when we retire at night, 
That's a clue. So if I'm going to retire at night, and these are the questions I'm going to ask myself in my evening review. I'm going to ask the same four questions that I ask myself as I go through the day, as I go along in step 10. Were we resentful, selfish, dishonest, or afraid? There's a question mark. That means it's a stop sign. I'm going to stop and I'm going to answer those questions. Do we owe an apology? There's another question mark. Have we kept something to ourselves which should be discussed with another person at once? Another question mark. Were we kind and loving toward all? Another question mark. What could we have done better? Another question mark. Were we thinking of ourselves most of the time? Or were we thinking of what we could do for others or what we could pack into the stream of life? That does not mean do as much as you possibly can and complete as many tasks as possible. That has not been my understanding of pack as much as I can into the stream of life. What I'm hearing from that is where was I helpful? Who did I help? But we must be careful not to drift into worry, remorse, or morbid reflection. Here's the warning. You know, we're not here there to beat ourselves up. Simply do a constructive review of my day. For that would diminish our usefulness to others. So, you see, I'm not useful to other people. I'm just simply sitting there beating myself up. I'm simply reviewing my day per these questions. Okay, here are the instructions. After I do my review, the authors are asking me to do two things in the next sentence. After making our review, we ask, that sounds like a prayer, doesn't it? We ask God's forgiveness. In other words, you know, um, yeah, I was thinking mostly of myself today. God, please forgive me for doing so. No, I wasn't kind and loving towards all. Please forgive me. And then, and then there's that word and, and which means in addition to. That means I'm going to do something in addition to prayer. Inquire what corrective measures should be taken. So if I'm going to inquire what corrective measures should be taken, that implies I'm going to listen. In other words, after I do my evening review, I'm going to pray and meditate. We talked about that last week, how essential it is for me to meditate in addition to pray. You see, if all I'm doing is praying, I'm not completing step 11 in its entirety. Notice the wording of step 11. Sought through, it doesn't say sought through prayer to improve my conscious contact. So you see, if all I'm doing is praying and not meditating, am I going to improve my relationship with God? Am I going to receive the knowledge of His will and the power to carry it out? My experience has been no. If my friend Scott here calls me up and invites me to his house for a party, and I hang up the phone before I receive directions, I'm not going to know which way to go to get there. That's what prayer without meditation is like. I've created a lot of unmanageability in my life and sobriety as a result of not meditating on something, but rather praying. I had made decisions based on self, which later placed me in a position to be heard. That's how essential it is for me to practice daily meditation. So isn't this beautiful? They're giving us a specific outline of how to do evening review, and they're giving me instructions to pray and meditate when I finish my evening review. 